Hi there, today we're going to talk about live tagging an event, such as a practice or a game, and the different types of uh, functionalities that are included in that. First off, we need to understand the clips section to get a good uh, understanding of the capabilities that are offered to you during a live tagging event. We've got two types of clips. You can create a recordable clip, which allows you to set the in and the out, or you can create a droppable pin, which allows you to set a lead time and a lag time. If I set this lead time to 12 seconds and I keep the lag time at three seconds, that means that we're gonna have a 15 second clip. And that 15 second clip is gonna be created when I press the droppable pin button. It will go back in time 12 seconds and it'll go forward in time three seconds, allowing us to return to that moment. Droppable pins are very good for reactive type of situations. So when you're reacting to something that occurs on the field or on the court. So you saw earlier that we had a droppable pin called positive review. We're going to go ahead and create one called negative review. We can also have a, uh, we can also use emojis in these if you are so inclined. So here we have two pins, a positive review and a negative review. We're also gonna create a third item and that's gonna be a recordable clip. Recordable clips are very good for the prescriptive type of situations. Uh, a common drill that you'll find out there is 1v1s. So one offensive player versus one defensive player. The defensive player has to cover the offensive player. We've got a 1v1. You wouldn't necessarily have to react to the fact that a 1v1 is occurring because it's more prescriptive. You know you're going to do that during your practice. So you can start the recording when the 1v1 starts and then you can end it when the 1v1 ends, or if you're doing it as an entire section of practice, you could just start it at the start of your 1v1s and continue letting it record during that time. So we've got our negative review, our positive review, and our 1v1s. The next item to understand about live tagging is that you must have an event with today's date. You'll notice that if I tap and hold, you don't have live tagging in this contextual menu because the date was June 30th and today's date is July 2nd. You'll notice that we have the live tagging option here and it's missing from the game or the event with the previous date. We can also access this by going into the game and then going into the admin section at the bottom. Additionally, if you tap the title of the event, that's a shortcut to get into the admin view where you can find the live tagging functionality. Personally, I like the contextual menu and then selecting live tagging. At this point, we are in the stats tab. At the bottom, move that over to the clips tab, open up your clips folder, and here in the top right corner of items like positive review and negative review, you'll notice a pin icon for the items that are pins. If you start your 1v1 recording, this is a recordable clip, you'll notice that it's recording. So imagine a practice event is going on in front of you, and let's say the defender does a very good job of defending the offensive player. You can go ahead and say that that was a positive review and drop a pin at that time. As you know, our positive review is a 15 second clip, whereas this 1v1 has been recording for 27 seconds at this point and will continue recording for however long you keep it active for. So you can do multiple clips at the same time. If we open up demo clips and say that uh, we're also doing, say, man down defense, you can keep that going while your 1v1 is going then we can end our 1v1. We can say, hey, that was a negative review that we just saw, and we can open up the other folder and finish our man down defense clip as an example. 
Thanks for taking a second to learn about live tagging. When you add film to your practice, it will be indexed with the live tags that you took. For more information, take a look at our other help articles and thank you for your support.